Lesson 3, Grammar. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the past simple of irregular verbs, affirmative and negative. To use past simple of irregular verbs, affirmative and negative accurately. And to write sentences using past simple of irregular verbs, affirmative and negative. Now, I want you to read the following sentences with me and look at the verbs. She goes to school by bus. She went to school by bus yesterday. I eat cheese sandwich every day. I ate a cheese sandwich yesterday. She has a picnic with her cousins. She had a picnic with her cousins yesterday. We think it's going to rain. We thought it was going to rain. Look at the verbs. Goes becomes went. Has becomes had. Eat becomes ate. And think becomes thought. What happened to the verbs in the past tense? The verbs changed. What do we call these verbs? Excellent, we call them irregular verbs. Now it's time to practice. You have to change the following irregular verbs to past simple. Will you just add ed to the end of the verb? No. Why? Because these are irregular verbs. You have to change the whole verb. You have five minutes. You can write your answers on your mini board. Start.
Now, you have to click on the yellow boxes to check your answers. Let's start clicking. Have becomes had. Come, came. Get, got. Sing, sang. Drink, drank. Go, went. Buy, bought. Were your answers correct? Good job! In this activity, Tom is telling his friend about his sister's birthday. You have to read and write the missing irregular verbs. Here you have the verbs in the base form. You have to change them. You have five minutes. You can write your answers on your mini board. Start.
Now let's check our answers. It was my sister's birthday last Sunday. We didn't go to the cinema. We went to the shopping mall and bought some balloons and gifts. Then we came back home and started preparing some dishes. At the party, we played, sang, and danced. We ate strawberry cupcakes. We had a fun time. Were your answers correct? Good job! Now, how can we write sentences using past simple of irregular verbs in affirmative and negative forms? You should follow the sequence below. Let's look at an example. Affirmative. She ate pasta yesterday. You start the sentence with the subject and then the irregular verb and finally you complete the sentence. And for the negative form, she didn't eat pasta yesterday. Again you start with the subject and then you write didn't plus the irregular verb and then you complete the sentence. Now it's time to practice. You have to look at the pictures and write sentences and pass and pass simple and negative or affirmative forms. Next to each picture you have the verb that you should use. If you write four to five words, you earn one star. If you write six to seven words, you earn two stars. And if you write eight to nine words, you earn three stars. Remember, before you start writing, you have to start your sentences with capital letter. You have to end your sentences with full stop. You have to leave space between words. Check your spelling and write using the correct grammar tense. You have five minutes. You can write your answers on your mini board. Start.
Now let's look at some possible answers. My family ate some rice and fish last Sunday. My family didn't eat rice and fish last Sunday. Very good. We had a birthday party last weekend. We didn't have a birthday party last weekend. Excellent. Susan sang a nice song at school. Susan didn't sing at school yesterday. And finally, I went to school late yesterday. I didn't go to school late yesterday. Did you check all the boxes? Good job! This is the end of our lesson today. I hope that you enjoyed it. See you soon.